Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am Swam from Decreto. Today in this video, I am gonna show you how you can create a cookie constant bar using Elementor for free. Yes, this is not any paid plugins. We don't need Elementor Pro or any extra paid plugins. We just only use the Elementor free plugins. Also, we use the only the free plugins of the cookies. So let's get started the video how you can make this type of notice bar as you can see in my website. So let's move on the video. Alright, so we have on the Elementor dashboard and if I go to the plugin section, go to the plugins and if I click on install plugins and as you can see here is the uh, Elementor Pro, if I have to click on the deactivate it now, it will work also. So if I just go to this page, Elementor editor page, also you will see the element, the, this is the cookie notice bar will also work without using Elementor Pro. Let's install the Elementor pack. Yes, this is the Elementor pack by this is the cookie notice plugins is Elementor's plugin. So let's click on in, in plugins install now. And then if I search for Elements pack, so after searching the plugin, so here is the plugin. We have to click on install now and then you have to activate it. So it is a so simple process to make it. You can use it within five minutes. So let's inst click on activate. After installing, click on activate, then go to the Elementor editor page. You have don't need to do nothing, just click on our dashboard or directly go to the Elementor page. And now just one refresh, refresh once. After refreshing, after installing, you have to refresh once again. So after refreshing the page, the load will be gone, and you have to just click start go to the search bar widget. You have to place the widget, drag and drop the widget bar, then it will just working. So as it is, you can see the after installing the plugin, it is also working fine because I've already worked on the plugin. So let me just delete this cookie notice bar. So this is the cookie notice. At first, I'm deleting the cookie notice here. Here is this. So let's install one more. So here's the cookie. After you start C double O, so cookie content by you can see elements pack watermark is here. So drag and drop anywhere of your website. So like if I'm selecting this this page and as you can see after just drag and drop this you will see this type of interface in the bottom of your website. Then you can set out the position like if I'm selecting top so click on the top and bottom left also you can see this is the square shapes and bottom right also you can set it. So I'm selecting in bottom simply selecting in bottom. Then you can also set the expiry days like a, if a user if you use that um, visited website for seven days only it will show on the seven days like if I'm increasing now so it will see it in the visitor will see like 25 22 anything as your choice you can set it at so I'm selecting the default value as uh, seven days then you can change the information like like I mean, learn more text to you can change it to more info like that and then you can also change the also got it to save it anything you can see it so i'm just keep it as default then go to the style tab to customize background color i'm giving it to like theme color so this is the theme color i'm just click on global global color and then i'll select this now text color i'm giving it to pure white it is already in white learn more color i'm giving it to like white color like this white color and then go to the typography so let's make it to poppins font now it's looking good now let's click on the button to customize so button background also i'm giving it to pure white color white background and the text color will be this theme color right and then the typography here is the typography let's make it also poppins font again and then the weight it increases so let's make it to 600 now it's doing good and the size will be 24 sorry 14 and the border radius i'm giving to 35 and the padding padding just give it to increasing this like this and the 10 pixel is now also looking fine good so if i click on update and just refresh this page and if i'm if i'm just visit this website in incognito mode now refresh this page as you can see the smooth coming effect with glowing effect after that the cookie notice bar is also come so if i click on got it it will be gone so that's the process of easy process how you can create a cookie consent bar or notice bar as you can see it you can use it in elementary free version without using any paid version without using any single line of code or something 
so that's the process of how you can create this if you like it this video then please subscribe this channel to get more videos like elementor wordpress and if you have been doubt about the videos then comment down your ideas or problems we will solve, solve your problems very quickly see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching